Alright, so word on the street is, and by street I mean Google, you have to do every single side mission to get Nigel to tell you, hey, it's time to go to Mexico. So, this is what we're going to do. We are going to start doing mis missing souls all day and night until we get to Mexico. We're going to save people so hard, we're going to get to Mexico. And hopefully somewhere in the process, we get to shoot ten undead in the head in a row. Ten undead in the head in a row. Exactly. That's what we're going to do, because we're going to do it. What? Exactly. So what are you cats and kids been up to? Hanging out, rocking and rolling, chilling, keeping it real, keeping it gangster, maybe? As the kids say. But, well, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption, and I'm going to continue to play it until the end of the universe. We gotta need to go to the, uh, the place, the, uh, the Fort Mercer, that's it. The one place where Red Dead Redemption more or less started, well, I mean, technically it started in Blackwater, and we went Fort Mercer. Anyway, we gotta save some souls, dude, <clears throat> which I'm fine with. I mean, I'm not the savior. But I guess I'm a savior of the people in, in my own little way. All right, who are we looking for? <laughs> in a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Huh. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. Ooh. <laughs> my pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family. I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. Oh, man. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. That's the only time I've known him to do I that. the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Wow. Yeah, it's the only time I've known John to make it. I mean, yeah, he's a criminal, ran with a gang, killed people and all that stuff. That's the one time I've ever known him to, like, actually, like, do that. Like, talk out of turn. Make a mistake. Make, like, poor judge of character. You know what I mean? It's one thing to say something and, uh, well, I mean, it's one thing to cause, like, physical harm to somebody. It's another thing to do what he just did, and I, I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's not John's style. You know, that, that little cutscene always kind of came off the wrong way with me, because, like, that, I feel like that's not something John would say, because John, like, he, he was in the gang, and he, he did what he did for a reason, right? Like, maybe in the beginning, it was for, you know, selfish and stupid causes, but eventually, it was all about getting out of the life and protecting his family. Like, he became a wise, honest, responsible person. I mean, trial by fire, right? But he still did it. Same way with Goodfellas, dude. He ratted out all the people he known to save his family. And, uh... So it's a more or less the same situation. And, uh... I don't, I don't know. It just didn't seem like John... Like, after all this he's been through, and, like, John's trying to save his family now, it just doesn't seem like something he would say and do. And I'm not trying to nitpick or, ah, you know, this and But, uh, I don't know. It just didn't feel like him. But I guess I had to have a reason for these missing persons to missions to begin. That's what I'm talking about, you know. Whenever you spend, and this is probably why you can't have sex in space, because when you spend any kind of quality time with people, it's I don't know. You, you start to care for them in a very personal way, like you almost feel responsible for them. And that may sound weird, and that's probably where I lose a lot of people as far as. Uh, would be friends. Why didn't I just fast travel? Why didn't I just fast travel? But, uh, because I get too close too quick, you know? People can't trust me. It's like, they, they, can't, they can't tell that I'm telling the truth. They think I'm, I, I'm saying what I say just to, to, you know, try to, you know, get close to them in another way, but that's really not, that's just not me, man. Anyway, you, so you start caring for people, right? But then it's, uh, all right, looks like we can get a lot of those ten right here. Oh well, if that wouldn't happen. Hey, stop that! 
right now. Does anybody else want to turn around and walk away? No, I'm kidding. Alright, let's go for 10 right here. Let's go for Oh yeah, it did it for me. Okay. Four. That's not a headshot. That's six right there. There's six. Nah, I'm going down. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chance it. I'm not gonna chance it. Not gonna oh chance my God, it. Thank you. That was awful. Sorry. Are honey. you Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. What was she doing in there? Like, Thank God you came along. her family just didn't straight leave her, her did did they? Oh. I'm on. Let's get you home. <clears throat> you just left, huh? What's your name, Mister? John. Sam. John Marston. <laughs> Why are we stopping? I, because I hit a fence, honey. <laughs> I hit a skunk, Karen. God, someone's going down behind me. I don't want to look. It's none of my business. Mmm, yeah, it's more zombieditos. But anyway, you know, video games and m movies and music and all that. What else is there in life? Waffle House. That's what else there is. Dang right, man. I Did you see them pulling at the house like a pe Oh! Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. No offense, miss. But they could. It's horrific. Are they? Is I think you're. No you're asking too many questions right now. Um. Let's go. Oh, all my life. You know how they got the Jackass 2.5 and 3.5 uh, movies that are movies about movies or the Jackass movies about like some things that got cut and like some ideas. And, you know, just like that off stuff that didn't make it in the real movie. I remember Jackass 2.5. Um, Steve-O was doing an interview talking about uh, Preston having to get on top of the porta potty and pretend he was God, or not God, but King Kong. And what Steve-O said, I, I still think it's funny. He, he said, yeah, Preston had like a fear of heights and well, he didn't say that, but they were talking about how Preston had a fear of heights and he was like sh shaking the whole time. He was a nervous wreck. And then he got, he calmed down by taking some Xanax. And that's what Preston said. And then it flipped, went to Steve-O. And he said, yeah, man, when life gets so hard and you don't think you can go on anymore, Xanax. <laughs> like, that's just the funniest thing. I've never had Xanax. I don't know what it does. What does it do? Does it make you feel better? If it does, then I need some. Can you buy that stuff over the counter? I think any drug that makes you feel better without causing, like, <laughs> habitual behavior should be free, <laughs> if not over the counter. Like I said, thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. He didn't say sorry, though. Did you see the guy spawn in? I saw him spawn in. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Well, it looks like that's what we're going to be doing. Through thick and thin, man, woman, missing persons. Hey, I got the se Oh, nice. Oh, it is rock and roll time in a Red Dead Redemption. All right, Sunday Hunter. Oh, what did, what did I win? What did I win on the Hunter side? What did I win? Challenges, challenges, undead hunter rank two. That's just killing stuff. Okay. Oh, and it reset that. That's perfect. Okay, find it. okay I gotta find one of those, man. I gotta get death. I gotta find death, man. He's out there somewhere. He's waiting for me. I can. I just know he is. Um. Oh, dude, let's just, let's fast travel. Where, where where is this, honey? Oh, she's she's just right over there. Oh God, what? What the barnacles? All right, Mr. War, you and I are going to go find another woman. Oh, boy. Yeah. Not like that. Calm down. I was going to say something. It had to do with something I was talking about. It was, it was important. Oh, yeah. I was talking to Anna today. Actually, no, I was talking to her yesterday. And I said, Anna, I've got something to tell you. She said, okay, what? And I said, I have dreams about things sometimes, and it's like really heavy stuff. And she said, oh, God. 
I don't know if I'm ready for this. And I said, well, you may be, you may not be. I don't know. What you oh, he's already up. You didn't have to do all of them. Well, heck yeah. Let's go save her if we don't kill ourselves in the process. Anyway, I said, Anna, I've had dreams about, like, how civilization started and, and like, all these, and how the world's going to end and all this crazy stuff. I've, I have dreamt about it, and I'm going to I'm gonna share it with you. I said, okay, but I'm not going to share to you about that stuff. I had another dream last night, or the night before, I can't remember. Let's go. I said, Anna, do you know where nightmares come from? Because we don't know where dreams come from, but do you know where nightmares come from? Because, I mean, the same thing. One's just terrifying. The other one's... Uh, I couldn't be the only person in the world that died right there. Because that just makes sense to take that little shortcut. But it's not a shortcut if it kills you. Let's go this way. And we go this way. <laughs> Trying to kill ourselves again. But, that's okay. This is going to get weird. But most of my dreams do anyway. I gotta get down there. Gotta get down there. Gotta get down there. Oh, I didn't die. Thank God. Alright, let's be careful here. Oh god, oh, he's gonna rip me off and eat me. Rip me off. It doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look so bad from up here. But then again, that's, that's the story of my life, I guess. I was like, can you please pull out your gun, John? I couldn't even get a headshot with dead shot. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two. Dang these zombies, man. You got nothing better to do? See, that's the thing. You don't get a lot of time to target the head free aim. Oh, watch out behind you. My prayers have been answered. Thank you, Lord. Oh! Oh, God, freeze! Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. I thought for sure I was going to have to do pretty much every one of these, but... Um... Right, he's gonna have to hold on until my horse gets here. He's gonna have to. I wanna die. I, know what, I don't think anybody really wants to die. Well, I mean, who wants to live forever, man? That's that's not a good option. But anyway, I was telling her, like, okay, I don't know where. Where do nightmares come from, Sam? You're so smart and so wise. I'm just so impressed by your craziness. I said, I know I'm pretty awesome. Um, well, it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, everybody knows who the Grim Reaper is, correct? Turns out, when you have a nightmare, what's actually happening is the Grim much. Reaper creeps into your room, cover of darkness and all that, sits down beside you, and begins running his fingers through your hair. That's where nightmares come from, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Seriously, I had a dream about that the other night. I thought, man, it just came to me, you know. It's, well, I wasn't trying to figure this stuff out. I was just there, you know. Oh, you're gonna make me kill all these things? You're gonna make me kill all these. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Right, hold on, princess. I'm gonna save the world here one bullet at a time. I'll try to save him too if I can. Hold up. Alright, one more time. One one maybe two more times. But uh Anybody else hanging out here? I think there's one more somewhere. Oh, there he is. She! There she is. So, yeah. Those are the kind of things I dream about for whatever reason, ladies and gentlemen. The end of the world, beginning of the world, and all that. And where nightmares come from. I thought it was pretty creepy, to be quite honest with you, and that's why it stuck with me. We're all in this together, friend. Dang right, partner. Now, I'm gonna go find Mr. Wes Dickens, because I saw him spawn. Say, I saw, I know he was there. And we're going to get our happy little butts into Mexico, which is where everybody needs to be, right? Party capital of the world, Mexico. Or at least I, it's assumed it is. I don't really know. I've never, I've never been to Mexico. I've went, I've been to Indiana, Kentucky, um, South Carolina. Mm, that's about it. If you don't consider, like, states I've had to drive through like Georgia and Alabama and stuff like that but uh, I you know not really uh, 
much of a traveler, and now all of a sudden in 2020, I'm going across the ocean. It's gonna be very exciting. But anyway, let's go see Mr. West Dickens. See what he has to say about this little escapade of ours saving the world in Mexico once upon a time in zombie infested Mexico. I need that horse to hurry. All right, so they want to play zombies tonight, dude. I've got I got some work I got to do for the next couple of hours, and I probably actually no. Me and Derek can be playing Overwatch tonight at about six o'clock Eastern time if anybody wants to get on. I have it for PS4. I don't have it for Xbox. I don't know if it is for Xbox. Is it for Xbox? I, don't think. Ah, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is for Xbox. Probably play that and a little bit of Killing Floor, maybe. But I'm definitely going to get on Alcatraz tonight. I don't work tomorrow. I'm going to get crazy. Crazy. Tonight. I, you know, I, I actually felt... I woke up and I didn't feel that bad this morning. I felt horrible Monday morning for whatever reason. But uh, this morning, you know, I was a little... My eyes were a little dry this morning. But as far as feeling all right, you know, I felt pretty good. And uh, my energy came back and... Uh, you know, I, was, I never knew that would be like the biggest problem. I always thought I would have energy till I was like 65, and then I'd start to slow down. But man, I don't know what happened. I just just dropped it off at like 23 and a half, 24, and I just uh, haven't felt good for a very long time. But I don't know. Some days, you know, I feel all right. You know, like that one song, "I'm All Right." Don't nobody worry about me. Now, why couldn't he just come to me? You know, it'd be so much easier. Come on. If he's like, yeah, John, I'll just meet you somewhere, and I'll, I'll play this little cutscene to get us where we're going. You know, that would have been great, but that is obviously not the way Destiny had it in store. Nigel. Nigel. But anyway. At least we have each other, right? Yeah. Are you aware of zombies right now, Mr. Dickens? Ah, Mr. Marston. What's going on? <laughs> you got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. Uh, but for you, maybe. Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Dude, Sam. Dude, I am Uncle Sam. What are you talking about? Uh, well, uh, the border is indeed closed. Yeah. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Yeah, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, well, that's a matter of age, dear what? boy. The army don't have many recruits with quite my level of experience. <laughs> so... So, you are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. Oh. <laughs> okay. What about you? Ah! Baghdad! Baghdad! <laughs> well, either that or Fort Mercer. Or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for a human well, blood. Well, somebody's lustful. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy. Baghdad, huh? I mean, how would anybody get to Baghdad? Oh, I guess a ship. Yeah. Am I hanging a trek across the ocean, you know, when there aren't really planes? When's the first plane made? 2005? I think that's when the first plane was created. So, yeah, there's no way planes were uh, around back in the 1890s. It's like that right there, like John just sitting down at that fire to take like a little breather. Like there's something, something precious about that. Oh, dude, a hitching post. All right, now we can save this horse. Dude, you're going to get hitched, horse. You just got hitched. Actually, I think it may have saved anyway, but I just wanted to be sure. Just wanted to, just wanted to be sure. Come on. 
All right. Better safe than sorry. I can't tell you. So, so I did something the other day. I think it had to do with some video game, and I had to. I needed to make a save. Well, I had the option to make a save in case something went wrong. I said, well, you know, you never know. I may, I may need to come back to this point at some time, so I saved the game an extra time. Sure enough, the auto save saved too far ahead. And I thought, oh my god, thank god I saved. And uh, I think it was Portal 2, actually. These dang zombies. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh god, oh god, my brain. These dang freaking zombies think they could come to our country, eat our food, well, eat us. I see you over there, man. I see you, baby. Like, why am I able to actually shoot these things sometimes? Not all the times. Oh my god, oh, they're still, they're still here. They're still, they're still hanging about. What? Oh, I see them. Oh my god, they're all over, dude. See, I hate to waste, like, dead eye on one. Oh, but did you see that? That's a bunch of bull, dude. Oh god. Going for 10 headshots. What happens? John just shoots out in the, the middle of the ocean for no reason. It's always better to aim, I guess, a little bit higher. That way you don't accidentally, like, get their shoulders, you know? I don't know, that may not make a lot of sense, but, like, the... The... Not the radius, just per se, but the, uh... I can't... I can't really... I can't really hit them in the head unless they're, like, running right at me. Give the devil my regard. I can't hit them running at me. What is that? What kind of, te what kind of teleporting move was that? <laughs> oh, these freaking zombies. It's my life, though, man. It's the one thing I was really good at, killing zombies. I remember one, there was a time where I was going to, if my internet ever got better, I was just going to uh, start streaming zombies. I mean, that's how confident I was in my ability to, you know, like, play Black Ops Zombies. Uh, you know? But not anymore, I guess. I got I to gotta get that little muscle worked again, you know what I'm saying? You best be dead, so, uh, mister. Yeah, little for sure, but... See if anybody's got any bullets. Oh, I got ribs here. Why am I not using the blunderbuss? That's like a cure-all, man. Cure-all. All right, guys. Go ahead and t talk to me, dude. Tell me what you got, homie. Show me what you got. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that? Anyway. I'm gonna get, get, get a uniform. Get, 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 get a uniform. I think it's in here. I don't know why it's not showing up. There we go. Thank God I remember something. Oh, I look so snappy. Thanks. I feel like such a noble Dude, on a horse of war? Yeah, you better feel like it. That's about as American as you Stay get. Safe. That's more American than... What was that dude's name in Far Cry 5? Uh... Oh, dude, how did I forget his name? Nix, Nixon, or what? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The... How do I not remember his name? It was a... It was it was the stunt guy that, that wore like the American flag and had all that patriotic stuff. Uh, I'm trying to remember the song, Clutch Nixon. That's his name. Yeah, Clutch Nixon. It's like Clutch Nixon. Uh oh. Dude, that, zombies aren't good at jumping. I don't know why we're having problems here. Must save America. Just be on the train, dude. Uh -oh. Okay, uh, no, no, no. Get off the train. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of zombies. Again. About the hundredth time. Hundred thousand. Hey, make it a hundred thousand. My hundred thousandth time. I mean, get this ten in a row eventually. I can, I can feel it. And there it went. Yep, that was probably number nine right there, or number ten. Yep. 
shot. It's like they just spawn out of nowhere. Reminds me of that one scene from The Lost Boys. Uh, whenever he says, uh, well, let me tell you. If all the corpses that were buried here all decided to stand up at the same time, we would have one hell of a population problem. It's like that paints just such a vivid picture, you know? It's how bad the population problem is, or the murder rate was in that town. We got the semi-automatic pistol. I don't know why we're not playing with that thing. Okay, all right, well, surely we're getting close to 10, right? Yes, we are. This is not going to be it, though. I can, I can already tell. Need one more. Oh, we got it. Okay. Right. Benji's ready. Come on, man. Let's get the hell out of here. You did real good, soldier. Basic training was very thorough. Well, that's good. These degenerates are only good at horn hmm. and drinking. Let's roll out. There's nothing wrong with Ira, though, as long as you do it in moderation. All right, dude. Got on a train. How about that, man? Right now, I'm curious, though, as to what's next. Sharpshooter. Kill five flaming undead and one dead. I mean, if you need fire... Oh, boy. So, it has to be on fire. Keep your eyes stint for any more of those nightmares. Just gonna go hang out back here. I'm more of a loner, this anyway. headed for Mexico. What's the army going there for? Officially? To help o our Latin officially? friends time of need. Unofficially, to get the hell out of here before okay. oh. worse. See what we can steal down there. Always one step Dude, ahead. are you serious? Up. More the blood suckers. Does it really matter? They can't catch up with us, man. I don't know why we're making a big deal about this. I guess they can spit at us, and that wouldn't be too fun. But as far as actually being in any real danger, I don't... They never really had the ability to jump that well, so I'm not going to get really bent out of shape here. I just feel like that music, man. Officially to help our Mexican brethren, unofficially to get out of here. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds very American. You like this blunderbuss? It blunders quite a bit. It's a blundering mess is what it is. A beautiful blunder mess. Tempted to let all these guys get really close. I'm gonna hit them with undead bait, and then I'm gonna throw a fire bottle right down their throat, and then I'm gonna snipe the hell out of them. I'm tempted to do that, but I don't want to do it while I'm moving. And I know there's one where you got a tomahawk and bat, and that's gonna be ridiculous. Just, just so we're clear. What's with this game? I can't. Oh, okay. Ow. If you play with me, man, I will snipe thee into another life. That was my gift to the world, being a really dang good shot. This is terrible. This is awful right now. If you run in circles, it's impossible for... No, okay, that's not true. I'm surprised a meteor didn't come down from the sky. That's right. Get out of here, you bunch of losers. We seriously couldn't have just hit that. All right, every one of you clowns, get down and get the debris off the track. Let's go, let's go. Come on, soldier, move, move. Does that include me? I'm not really a so I mean, yes, I will do that. Dude, we could have broke through that easy, man. It's just a bunch of wood. All right, make Uncle Sam proud, soldiers. Come on. Clear the tracks quickly. Let's go. Uh oh, problem. No, we literally could have just walked some horses around this roadblock. Like no problem. Come on, we ain't got all day. Oh, they look pretty heavy, man. Quick, quick, quick! Fight. Whoa. Fight. Whoa, what? Hey, what? Get back here and fight. what this game's falling young? apart, man. Dude, ain't that America right there. Hang on. I got I got an easy solution here. I'm 
No need to get bent out of shape here. That's what we're going to do, all right? Get ready for this. Let's get them all rallied up, and then whoop! And we get a big old gun out. One dead eye meter. Everything's on fire. We only got to kill five of them. We can do this. We just stay calm. Stay calm, aim, and shoot. Did that do it? Yes, it did. <laughs> no, it's not suicide. It's only suicide. It's like Black Sabbath said, don't you ever say die, man. Don't you ever, don't ever say die. Where's the lib by, too? You came, everybody else died? Oh, I, guess. I guess you're right there, John. Or did everybody run away? Oh, my God. Now it's not fun anymore having to go in here by myself, man. Kind of sucks. Now, what do we do? We blow through it anyway. We lost countless good men. Oh, uh, there's about five there. Yeah, we lost five good men. Over there. Yeah, you might want to hold on, Johnny. Either about to go off the rails or... Oh, jeez. Hey, we made it. You never hear of anybody trying to get into Mexico the, the hard way, you know? Time, dude. We just got here. Oh, but now there's no way back, right? Well, I could probably get back from there. I could probably figure out how to get back. Uh, can I save my game somewhere? <laughs> Is there a button to save or am I just stuck? Yeah. All right. So let, let, how about we rescue one town and then we go where we need to go? Right? That sound, that sound like fun? <laughs> Ain't that cool? Don't that sound like fun? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Then that's what we're gonna do. I think Ozzy Osbourne's like a real fun guy to be around. I mean, he's really funny in all the interviews, and he seems like really like rock and roll music. But do you think he's... Like, how much of that is a character? You know what I mean? I'm sure he's... I mean, I'm sure I'd love to hang out with him. I'm sure he's funny guy, but you're a funny guy, Tommy. That's it, Henry. You're dead. Sure, he's a funny guy. I just ah, can't help but wonder. You know, we're we're much closer to this town right here. We might as well just go this way. Yeah. Perdido. No mas. Muchos. See? All right. Hey, what's up, people? Uh-oh, problem. Oh, my God. Don't tell me I get stuck here. Well, tell me you get stuck. Do we gotta hope that there's enough survive? Oh, dear God, there's not enough survivors here to. I can already tell you, there's not enough survivors here to uh, clear this town out, dude. We got, we got screwed right when we got into Mexico. I mean, screwed, man. I don't even know how to get up there. There's not going to be that many people to clear this place out. I already know it. I already know it. But how in the world am I going to get up there? How in the world am I going to get up there? Oh, there we go. He's got a jump up there. All right, here's some uh, bullets, you headless crazy. Maybe there are going to be enough guys if I hurry before they're all killed. Oh, excuse me. LOL. Lol. Clear this place out. I don't know. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Surely I have enough revolver ammo. Eh! I need five more. Yeah, I got just enough revolver ammo. That is if there's enough people. That's what I'm worried about, dude. Like, I don't think there's gonna be enough people here. I need to get, I need to get in here. I need, to, I need to get in here. Or up here, rather. Because that thing happened in that last episode when we were trying to save the people and like everybody turned into zombies and I, or people like the zombies turned into people it wouldn't register as zombies are like oh god my brain i can't understand why we all gotta help each other it's gonna come down to one isn't it it's gonna be one person how do i get in here can i get in here that is for sales persons only how did you get back there i want to get back there 
Dang it, man. <laughs> this is really starting to upset me right now. I'm a little emotional already. Unless he's up there. I don't think he's up there, though. Okay, well, that's, that screwed us right there. A good try, but unfortunately that guy's going to make it impossible for us. Hey, he's got a head. How about that? <laughs> You're one of the rare ones. It's not going to be enough. I'm telling you, dogs, it's not going to be enough. It wasn't even enough to begin with. Damn. Okay, okay. Obviously, obviously this, is, this is a one-way street here because, like, killing these things isn't enough. It's not going to register on the, the thing. Dude, he's still alive. How is that even possible? Wanderbus. What? Tell me he's dead. Tell me the thing's not dead. It's not dead. Okay, it is good. All right, guys, good luck. I'll, I'll be back when my game's fixed. Might as well go ahead and go to this place. Maybe we'll get a save slot there or something. Right now, we, there's not a whole lot we can do. That's like the worst time for that to happen, you know? <laughs> because I, I can't save the game and I can't end the video. I'm sure the autosave kicked in at some point. Like, when, right when we got to Mexico. But dude, you, you can never be too careful. That's, that's the thing, dude. Is you can't be too careful. People misunderstand that all the time. It's like we get there and we do the cutscene. It's like all these people are just... They don't have a head, and like nobody's talking, and we don't know where anything is or why. And it's just, we wake up in the Bermuda Triangle, and before you know it, we're oh god, can't even find a, a, one of those camps. I didn't even think about it. Whenever I got to that one camp back in America, that that's probably where that map piece was, was at that one camp, that one place. That I just happened to come across randomly. It's probably where that was. So, so the next time we see a camp. I believe we're going to be checking it out. Going to get that treasure map. We're going to find us some treasure, even though we can't sell anything in this game. <laughs> All right, this place on, looks like on. something terrible happened here. I hear a lot of screaming right now. Problem. <laughs> My wife is crying upstairs. I hear cars coming in the house. Uh-oh. You had to do what you had to do, sister. You okay, sister? Well, I'm alive, senor. Although, come to think of it, I just well. committed a mortal sin. Claim self-defense. Huh. Always works for me. Yes, well, I fear my judges may be a little more stringent than yours. Uh, but I appreciate the advice. Unfortunately, many of my nuns are not so resourceful as you or I. Their innocence will kill them, which is truly a terrifying reality. I would hmm. not know. I think maybe you would. But let us leave the psychotherapy and focus on more pressing matters. They are locked in the church, while hordes of, of, of these half-witted demons are, are trying to get to them. It'd be my pleasure. You're a true well. Samaritan, sir. You know... They say the devil has all the best tunes. It may be so, but it seems he also has the most half-witted friends. So oh. you know Bill Williamson then? Huh. Excuse me? <laughs> Just a little joke. I'll do as best as I can to save the nuns. Yeah, I'll save some nuns, right? Like, maybe they'll repay us in more ways than one, if we're lucky. I doubt it. I, I seriously doubt it, because that's like what they stand for is purity and innocence and all that stuff. So I highly doubt that's that's gonna happen, but John can hope for the both of us, right? Can we just walk in here? Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, dude, this is not gonna work. If I gotta save, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. This, the game's screwed, man. Unless this is like a special town. Oh my god. There's no way. There is no way. These zombies they don't have any heads. I can't do this. This is physically impossible. It, it is impossible. This glitch, this is impossible. I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop. I can't save the game. Hopefully, the, 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 there was a save. Sorry, yeah, there's not a save right there. Hopefully, that will be enough. 
But thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Keep or keep doing you. I'm sorry I can't fix this game. I'm, I tried. I can't even fix me, let alone the game. But it's been my absolute pleasure. Keep or keep doing you. I'll see you cats and kittens Thursday. Probably gonna finish the game Thursday. I'm feeling like Thursday, definitely. And then I'll see you cats and kittens again Friday. So that's exciting. Making 12 videos a week instead of eight now. I'm I'm excited for that. I don't. I think you should be too. But right now I'm gonna work on that uh, music thing that I got going, and then Derek's gonna get off in about an hour, and I'm probably gonna play some Overwatch about five o'clock, six o'clock, somewhere like that. But thank you for watching. Keep working. I'll see you guys again Thursday. My absolute pleasure. Keep it real and peace.